Hey, it's Kevin from Kuka. And like you know, we're back in Canada and we're cooking and focusing on local products, which is what we do. And today we're going to talk about beef. Now we have extraordinary beef in Canada. Happy animals, combination of a few different breeds, Angus being one of them, grass fed from all the different regions, Alberta, we have local cattle, and I want to talk to you about the question I always get. What is the best cut of meat for a steak? And today I'm going to answer your question and I'm going to explain why. Now this is very personable. It's, it's my opinion, but it's a strong opinion at that. So this is what we bought today. We've got some steaks. Wow. Now what I bought, this is my absolute favorite piece of meat. These are called T-bone. T-bone steaks. Now this is the benefit. If you can get a T-bone steak, normally you sit with a bone in the middle and the bone, if turned like this, is in the shape of a bloody T. Thus the name of the steak. It normally runs here and up here. Sometimes this bone is massive, but you can see here it's a very small bone. You got a little bit here and a little bit here. That's it. Sometimes it takes your whole bloody steak and you just feel like a little bit, like a, like a, like a street dog trying to figure out where the meat went. <gasps> now this is the benefit of this piece of meat. You've got closer to the head of the cow is your ribeye. Now as it goes down the cow, that ribeye, which is my other alternative favorite, turns into your strip loin or your New York strip or your New York steak. Now this is your New York. So this is your New York steak, which is noted as the most flavorful cut of meat, but tends to be tougher. And here, right beside it, like a little buddy, that's the tenderloin. So with one steak, you get the moisture, the juiciness, and the delicious flavor of having a bone, protecting the meat, sheltering it, like a small cottage getting drained on from the forest. So here, moisture, deliciousness, uh, succulent flavor, tenderloin, wicked piece of meat, not super tasty, uber tender, right? So you get that and you also get your strip loin. So how are we going to cook it? Salt, barbecue, finished. High heat, short time, let it hang out. Benefit of this steak, two different cuts of meat and wicked marbling in this area here, which is going to break up a lot of the toughness that the strip tends to experience. Grass-fed Canadian beef, sweet Jesus, dinners are coming.